Hi everyone, Diane here. Welcome to my studio. Today I'm going to paint one of my favourites. This is a bee and two thistle flowers. It's done in a semi-abstract kind of way and I am going to do what you might call a loose interpretation of this today, which is already a loose interpretation. So let's get started. I'm going to draw with a pen. I'm going to be really brave and I'm going to draw with a pen and it might go all very badly wrong but um, on the other hand it might not. Anyway, as I so very often say, what do we mean by wrong? I think as long as something gives you pleasure when you look at it, uh, then it's it can't be wrong. So, um, essence of B. And then essence of thistle. We get too many of these uh, things in our uh, field in the summer and uh, drives times in crazy. <clears throat> it's a really windy day today. <clears throat> I don't know what's going on. We're getting so much strange weather. We've got a drought, got no rain for almost the whole entire month of April. We haven't had any rain. We've We've got five, sorry, we've got 15 sheep and not enough uh, pasture for them when it doesn't rain because the grass just isn't growing. It's just nuts. Okay, so there's the sketch. And now the exciting bit. I will start with the bee. And I'm going to do everything with a good big brush today. So <clears throat> here's my number 14 and I'm looking for lemon yellow to start the bee. The bee colour, lemon, it's a bit greenish but doesn't matter, we'll put that in there quite thickly and there. And then I'm going to, with a slightly smaller brush, find my uh, quinacridone gold and quickly pick some of that up and drop that in to the yellow of the bee. Then I'm going to get some more quinacridone gold and I'm going to drop it in here and here. And all the way down here and also <clears throat> in this one right and then um, I'm going to just be leaving the bee for a minute to dry a bit so in the meantime we're going to come in with some red this is uh, Chevening and Rose or Quinacridone rose and let that kind of mix in there and uh, some of it in here too and then the green underneath I'm going to drop that in and then we want some brown as well and let that all kind of blend just drag that down and then the same deal over here green just sucking a little bit of that up and then let that uh, blend however it wants to. Let's suck a bit of that up too. And we 
drop a bit more colour in there. Let's put a bit of a purpley colour at the back there. And then a bit more quinacridone gold, quite thick there and around here. And follow the colour when you're painting. Follow the colour. Don't put any colour everywhere. That was something somebody said to me once. Just because you like it, you don't have to put it everywhere. <laughs> Good point. Okay. And now this one we need a bit more. Um, rose. And then I'm going to do a bit of dragging out a little bit. It's not with that. Maybe I'll just use the pen. I'm going to wait for that to dry because I quite like the look of that. Those colours there look quite nice, don't they? So the bee is probably just uh, dry enough to be able to go in with the black. Try not to touch the yellow. I really mustn't because it will spoil it. And then here, similarly. little black legs and then a good way of doing the wings which you really don't want a lot of color in is just to drag up a little bit of the gray from where the body is and just spread that out a little bit and let that dry oh I know when I did this painting originally, I didn't have these pencils, but I do now, so I can really, uh, these are, um, what are they? I can never remember the name of them. They are Stettler Karat Aquarelle watercolor pencils. And when you put, not all watercolor pencils work like this, but when you put these ones into wet, into water, they melt, they're just superb. So you can get some lovely strong darks. And so I'm going to put some dots, which is like I had in the original. And some shadowy bits. I'm going to come in with some darker shades there too. So a little bit more of me Quidnick Quidoon. Yeah, a bit more texture, bit more green, and I don't know if I can get this to spring out a little bit. So now this painting had um, quite a lot of um, spatter on it, so I'm going to do that next. With my toothbrush. I'm going to 
pick up some pink. It's going to go there and here and here and here. And then I'm going to get my long thin brush and put some bigger splashes and then I'm going to get my large round brush and I'm just going to soften some of that And then I'm going to put a tiny bit of blue up here. And a very tiny bit over here. Just to remind us that that's the sky. Lift out area for the eye, and then with my pen, just a tiny touch of veins. The bee, and here's the legs. Feel this wants a little bit of dark there, and then maybe we'll soften that. Just a little bit of that. And blur that a little bit, blur that a little bit, and just blur that a little bit, and then let it dry. And we'll come back later when it's dry and see what we think. So there's the final painting. It's uh, a version of this, which is uh, similar enough to say it's similar, but not an exact copy. I've done quite a few things differently. Um, I'm quite happy with that. I think maybe it could do with a little bit more uh, interest just there. And maybe here as well. And uh, so we'll let that completely dry. It's almost dry. I just did it with the hairdryer. Tomorrow it'll look a little bit different and we'll see how that comes out. But uh, yes, that's all for now. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that, and um, I will see you again tomorrow, hopefully. Good night, everyone. Bye, everyone. Bye.